Hello friends, today we will talk about arteriovenous fistula for dialysis. I am Dr. Rahul Agarwal, Consultant Vascular Endovascular Surgeon from Care Hospitals. Now before you understand what is an arteriovenous fistula, you should also know why is it made. Now a patient with a kidney failure needs dialysis. Dialysis can be through hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. Hemodialysis is when the blood is taken from your body, filtered through a machine and then given back into the body. To have this access of taking the blood and then giving it blood back to the body, then you should have an access. For this, the options are either an arteriovenous fistula which is created either in the hand or in the leg or a patient can have a perm cath which is a synthetic catheter which is kept in the central veins either in the neck or in the thigh. Now similarly there is an HD sheath which is sometimes kept in emergencies for dialysis requiring patients. The other option is the peritoneal dialysis which is usually done in elective or planned cases where a catheter is kept in the stomach and the fluid is given to the patient body and then taken back after four to six hours of dialysis. Now let us understand what is arteriovenous fistula for dialysis. An arteriovenous fistula is an artificial connection which is surgically made between the artery and the vein of the patients which allows the high flow from the artery to go into the vein. Over a period, this flow leads to dilatation or enlargement of the vein and allows for puncturing the vein to get the high flow of blood for dialysis. This is usually done in patients who are requiring long-term hemodialysis. Now, arteriovenous fistula is considered as the best option for hemodialysis when compared to perm cath placement or HD sheath placement for dialysis. Let's see what are the type of arteriovenous fistulas. Now, arteriovenous fistulas can be made in the hand in the near the wrist, which is called as the radiocephalic or a forearm fistula. Next, it can be made in the elbow which is called as the brachiocephalic or the cubital fistula and in some patients it can be even made here itself in the elbow but using a deeper vein which is not easily accessible so the vein is transposed into a subcutaneous superficial plane and a fistula is done so there are only three limited options in each limb if the vein and the arteries are healthy similarly a three on the right side now there is a rare fistula which is done in the lower limbs in the leg which is called as the superficial femoral vein transposition. This is very rarely done especially in patients who doesn't have suitable superficial veins for arteriovenous fistula. Thank you.